Welcome all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer or an original gangster, just an old geezer like me. This is Yuli1961, coming at you again from Art Ascended. And in today's video, we're going to build this awesome ship. Uh, I put out a poll and wanted to know which build process y'all would like to go through. And the most votes was in a modded build. So that's what we're going to do. It's not a lot of mods. And there's a couple of settings that you're going to have to have on here to make this work. And oh, by by the way, I did not forget the folks that said, hey, we would like to see it built on official so we could build it there. Well, Cameo, I've got one. Took a while, we figured it out. So this is a juggernaut. I will also have a video for the jackknife and there'll be a little button at the top of the screen there and a link to the description for that too. If you're playing on official and want to build this boat. So let's go real quick to those settings and then we'll get into the build. We'll have to go out to main menu, press start, resume game, and then we're gonna go to game rules. And the things that you wanna change are in structures. You wanna have disable structure placement collision on. And in advanced, you want to go down miscellaneous and you wanna go down to here where it says platform structure limit and put that from one or whatever number's on yours to at least five. You might be able to get by with a lower number than that, but I put in five and it works. So I did not hit the structure limit on this boat. So you'll need those two things changed in your settings to make this all work. The other thing that you'll need as far as mods, you will need to do this build exactly like I have it, the Super Cryo Storage mod. There are several cryo storage mods out there. This is the one I use. I find it to be very helpful and it has a lot of things that the dino storage mod had on, on Ark Survival Evolved. There are also pieces from Architect Structures Remastered. Another really good mod to have on there if you're a builder. And then the last is the Quality of Life mod, which really has a lot of the things that were in S Plus or Superstructures. Those are three that I have used in this build to make it work. So that's the settings. So let's go to the game and let's get this thing built. Okay, so we're going to need some room to breathe. So we're going to go over here to the other side of the island. Get to build it. Okay, I am going to build this in creative mode. Makes this a lot faster and easier to manage. So first thing we're going to need is a motorboat. I like building on the motorboat better than the raft because the motorboat moves a little faster and it has a reverse, which is really a good thing to have, especially when you're trying to get through the ice packs or around close to some of these islands. So we're going to plop down our boat here. There we go. We got a motorboat. If we have a motorboat, we're going to need gas. So let's spawn in some gas. And we'll put that in a boat. And we can get on there. All right, let's take it out a little bit. Not a lot. because we're gonna to need to do something. Now, this method of sinking a foundation in this boat, I have to say is not my creation. This is from Toast Bloke. I'll put a link to his website in the description of the video. So go check him out. The guy does some phenomenal things with building and coming up with different ways to build that are let's that are like non-conventional, but work and they're really cool. So we're gonna first need a pillar. And we'll also need ceiling tiles and we're going to need a quarter metal wall. You'll need these for the whole build. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and pop them in here. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to get a pillar put down in the center of the boat. Handily, the motorboat <laughs> has a little box there. It's pretty much right in the center. Another reason I like this boat. Okay. So what we're going to do, and we're going to have to make sure we are close enough to the shore for this to work. So let's turn the boat around for this part. We'll pull in a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place this pillar right in the center of the boat. So we grab our pillar and we're going to put it right in this box here. And you want it to be lined up as straight as you possibly can. And we're going to hit the button once. And we're going to get that little spinny thing. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to lower it until that goes away. See it pop out? 
And we're going to bring it back up just enough for it to pop back in and place that pillar there. All right. Now we're going to put a ceiling on top of that. And then we're going to take our quarter ceiling and we're going to put it on the back here. All right. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right. Now we can place foundations off of that. See how it just seals everything in really nice. And then we take this up and this up and this up. And there we go. Now I find that doing it and use it, starting your foundations towards the back of the boat seals everything in and gives you three foundations either way. All right, now we're going to need to build and the shoreline is not the place to start this thing. Because we need a little bit of room to move. Let's turn this boat around a little bit. There we go. That should be good. Now look, see, this is the cool thing. And Toast Bloke, I can't say enough good things about it. This is cool because you can drive the boat. You don't have to go find a hatch frame. You don't have anywhere in the boat that you can see the drive feature. Boom, you're on it. As long as the boat's turned on. <laughs> that it's one of, one of the drawbacks of the motorboat. Okay, so let's get going. We're going to take some ceiling tiles. And we're going to place them all the way around. as far out as we can get them to go, which will be three out from center, or three out from the foundations. This boat is expensive. I'm not gonna apologize, it is expensive. Oops. But I have built it out of stone. And it seems to work the same. So you're going to run into a place where you can't build on that corner, which is perfect. There we go. Okay, the one issue with this configuration is you cannot pick up these foundations unless you go underneath the boat. But that's a... That's a minor inconvenience, I think. This is what you should look like when you're done. You should have a boat that looks just like that. Now we're gonna take two off the back end. So let's come out of K mode. We're gonna come back over here. We're gonna drop that off. We're gonna take this off. There we go. Now the good thing is you can pick stuff up. So that's really helpful. All right, so now this is our configuration. The next thing we wanna do is take a couple ramps. So we'll get roof pieces. We're gonna put steps right here. I found that steps seem to work the best here because this is where we're going to have our little area for our tames to ride with us when we're out and about and we want to be able to have quick access to them. And they seem to be, especially like the baryonics, seems to be able to get up the stairs a lot better than a ramp. And now we're going to put in some walls. We'll flesh this thing out. Now, the temptation here is to bit crazy with windows and things like that. But the problem you have is we're going to use this as a trap boat, too. And it seems to be that if there's windows or doorways, that the big critters like the Rexes can get through there and damage some of your stuff. So we're not going to put any kind of windows in these walls. It's just preference you put whatever side you want inside or out. And then we're going to put some more slope pieces here. So they slope back. We're going to use the regular slopes. And we'll fill in the corners with triangle pieces. Like that. And then on this back wall, we're going to do walls. Skip one over here. I like talking about being cute. 
to slide down the list here and go to the revolving door. And that gives me a nice entrance and exit, and it's very clean looking on the outside. Okay, now for the back walls. This one, you know, do your preference. Here, it's fine to do the windows if you want to be able to let your, you know, let some light in, see what's going on outside. You can put a doorway out there, but you're going to have these areas right here to get in and out. And we're going to have another place to. So then we're going to go and get us some eight. And we're going to plot those in right. Go in there. Come on. There. And there. Put the doors on. And you're set. So a nice area for your berries to ride in or your flyers to put them in so they don't get pulled off if you run over any rocks or anything. And then so that you can get up and down, we're going to put some ladders back here. This will help you with the build too if you're not flying around there and there. The other thing this does is it, it lets you know that that's your little hidden door that you can go through. Okay. So again, go into K mode. This is what it should look like. Now we're going to go inside and we're going to get to building the interior through here and we're going to want to put in some more slope pieces there and then we're going to go up from the motor through here and then we're going to come over to the edge here and we're going to go down the line with walls here and these walls you also want to be solid. You get all the way down and leave this area open. Don't fill anything in there. And we're going to do the same thing here. Went too far. That's the fun part about building stuff. Okay, so we're back here at the motor. You want to go one up and you want to put across here a window wall and a window wall there and a double door. Again, you can use your preference. I like the double doors here just so that I can get stuff that's small in and out without having to put ramps back here. All right, on this back wall here, we're going to need to put some walls in here too. Here's where you could put in some windows. You're probably not going to be in this area. But it is critical to have something here. Because as long as something is against these walls, when the Rex gets in here, he can't get back out. If it's sloped any kind of way, he can. But if it's flat, he can't get back out of there. Now we're going to take one roof piece. We're going to put it up here. And we're going to convert it to a hatch. And we want it going this way. There we go. We want it going like that. So then we can put slow pieces back here. And some regular floors. In here like this. Now we're going to put in a set of stairs. Float piece. We'll turn it into stairs. There. That's what I want. And then this end here. Your preference. If you want a little bit of light, you can put a window here. And then we're going to put in the corner pieces there. Because it gets really dark in here. Let me tell you, at night, it gets really dark in here. All right, we're going to take these back off just because we got to put our industrial forge in. And it doesn't 
like to play very well when you're putting it in there after you've already put those slow pieces in. Just trying to get the idea of how the ship is supposed to look. All right, so we're going to put in one more there, and we're going to put one more there. And now we're going to put a ladder. And put the ladder in, open this door, and put the ladder in so that you can climb it out. So you should be able to get on the ladder and mount it and climb up. If you've got it backwards, you're not going to be able to climb it. And when you do, it's going to flip you over to this side and you're not going to be able to get up. But you can see, just like ladders work, you can walk right through this. So it's not a big deal to have it sitting right there. Climb up. And we are going to go ahead and place our industrial forge. And since I'm using the quality of life stuff, why not use that? It gives me a little bit more inventory space. Okay, we're going to put our ND forge down. Now, we want to have enough room for our chem bench to fit in here. So we're going to have to come down to this level here. We're going to put our ND forge in. And you want to be out of the snapping mode. And you want it to be so you got the wheel facing you. And you want to come in. Try to get it as centered as you possibly can. And just about halfway into this one block. Let's see how we're doing on centering this is the hardest part of the whole build <laughs> it's getting this right and if you don't it's no it's it's not you know if you can't get it exactly straight unless you're really ocd like me it really doesn't make that much of a difference what you want to be able to do is look down and be able to hit e and get into the inventory now that we have this on we can put on our roof pieces again and they should snap right there And we can put a piece on the back. Again, I would suggest using flat, no window parts here, just to protect it as much as you possibly can. We can put a roof piece on this side, and then we can finish up with our sloped corners. Get to pop in there, come on, like that. Probably did backwards. Oh, no, no, it did. It worked. It worked good. Yeah, looks good. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah, it's not perfect, but, you know, close enough. All right, so we're going to go back over here. Okay, so now, modded piece. This is from the Architects mod, and this is a stone glass ceiling tile. And if you put these here... They will function like a greenhouse roof, but they have the strength of stone, which there are very few critters out here that can break stone and you don't have to worry so much about it messing them up. All right, so let's do a bird's eye view again. There we go. We got the basic build here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add things in for our trap station. Okay, so this is going to be focused on wrapping animals. First thing we're going to do is Captain Fat Dog is like the master at coming up with traps for animals that are simple and easy to deploy and work every single time. So we're going to use Captain Fat Dog's RG trap. And there's two reasons. <laughs> One, it's freaking ingenious. And the link to his videos will be in the description as well. But it does some other things for us. So we're going to basically this is a double door there, a double door here, and a double door in back. And then we're going to put in a sloped ceiling piece right here like that. And then we're going to put on, I like these doors. I love them. They just look cool. The stone reinforced doors. I mean, the metal ones are all right, and they, they have made them look better, but they made these look better too. So I like these, and this works. The trap works. Okay, perfect. Go see his video if you want to know how this actually catches an RG, but we can still look down here. We catch our RG. When it's closed, you'll see this boat's big and it's a little bit hard to drive, but you use the trap as the center of your boat and you've got a reticle to drive by. And it is so helpful, especially when you're going through tough spots to know where your center point is. So there's another reason. And there's one more reason why this is really good because we're gonna take 
some quarter pieces. And we're going to turn those into railings. And we're going to put one there. We're going to put one across here. And one across. Come on. Here. This is just to keep people from getting back in here. Because I have had people on my boat that have gotten back in that area and gotten stuck. And that's no fun. So we're going to just close this off if it'll cooperate. Here we go. The forge will still function fine. You won't have to worry about it. Now I have a little piece in here. I'll put one here. We're going to eventually fix all that, but there. So we've got rails up here. And then now if I fly in with a Anki or a Dodicarus, really the Anki, right? Because the Dodicarus is a beaver, right? Maybe you want to make charcoal. I can fly in right into the trap, drop my Anki off. He's right here. I unload the Anki straight into this forge and I'm golden. Then I can just pick him back up and take him off. And this this little angle roof here works a little bit like a scrape. It's not perfect, but you know, it's a heck of a lot easier than unloading metal and carrying it across everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna do another important piece on here. If you're gonna go out looking for Rexes, I would not try this trap on a Giga, but who knows, maybe it'll work. Maybe I'll have to do that on a stream and just see what happens. But to trap a Rex in this box so that he won't get back, he or she won't get back out, you're gonna need to put up some railings because he can step over this. If he gets really determined, he can step over that. But if you put a railing up like this, he gets glitched out on the railing and he can't get out of it. Now put it here so that I can kind of force him to go into this little corral area. And the reason why I'm leaving that out is because we're going to come down here and we're going to drop some ladders here. And one here. Now he's, he wants me to be able to have all this, the structure limit up because there's a lot of pieces of this boat. But you want to be able to get on and off, right? And this way you can go up here. Now you can, it's up to you, Take this wall and when you put it in here, instead of making it a make it a double door, but other other things can get in a double door. I don't like to use that one. But this door pretty much means the only thing you're it's getting in here is you. And you can still use the ladder to get in and out. Okay, so we got that. We can get on our ship with the ladders or the ramps and back. You cannot put anything else on the front. That's as far out as it'll go. So you can't put a ladder on those. All right, so we have that. Now we're gonna go up here. And just so if something goes completely wrong, <laughs> we get stuck in here, we'll have a way to get out. You might wanna have a ladder to get out the front. So I'll put one in there. It makes that window so you can't really shoot out of it, but that's okay. And we're gonna put a door in here. You put in whatever kind of door you want. Stone, Rex's can't break, so it's fine. Put that in there. All right, so now we have our little ship. We can uh, we can go over here and put copy this. Take that out. We're going to put, put a door right here, a ladder here, and a ladder there. So now we have quick access to get in and out pretty much everywhere on the boat. Okay, we got the exterior shell done, and now we've got to do some work on the underbelly of this beast here. So let's go down here. We're going to get out our slope pieces again. Sometimes these are to start from front. We're gonna go just like this. Get that plating on there. Take that one off. And we're gonna use the corner piece. Then we're gonna go back to the slope piece. We 
we'll do our corner piece here. This one piece here. Just finish down the line with slope pieces. Okay, now we have the underside of the boat, and even though things are pretty locked in with this build that uh, Toast Luke came up with, just because I like to make sure it looks pretty all the way around. So we're gonna steal this in, so we might as well seal the whole thing in, right? some ceiling tiles let's make it pretty side out i don't know maybe you like industrial and you think that the other side's pretty side it's up to you you build your boat the way you want to build it we're gonna fill all this in just like this there let's get rid of this piece there nice and tidy right nothing can get in here well uh, we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna take this piece here and make this a hatchway. We want to go this way. Then we're going to come up through here. Close that. And we're going to make another one right here. Now make this one open the other way. And now we have access to get out underneath the boat lots of different ways. It all depends on what you got going on and how fast you need to get out or whatever else. But everything is nice and solid right here, right? <laughs> but you, you said this thing would keep the leads fish away. And this boat is great, but we all know if the leads fish hits it, it's still going to do damage. No matter how much armor you put on the outside, you're correct. So now let's add the one thing that makes this boat work, and that is these guys. So they will mount underwater. Just think they mount on top. Put one there. We're going to put one... Moving around, you know, I, I like to make sure everything is pretty well lined up, but it's it's difficult to line stuff up perfectly underwater. Because everything moves. Yeah, that's the way I want it, but I don't want it. Uh, okay, we'll do it this way then. We're going to put one in the center. And we're going to put one back here. And we're going to put one. You can't put it there because we got that hatchway. So we're going to put it right here. I always set a pin code on these. You use whatever number you want. And now is a good time as well, if you're underwater, to go ahead and start heading your exclusions. So set targeting options. We want to exclude the underwater creatures. We don't want to shoot coelacanths. We don't want to shoot, well, peonies are not really in the water too much. We don't want to use, shoot waste ammo on the trilobites. And you can kind of do that however you want to do it. Once you get it in, you'll want to also set this for wild creatures or whatever you want to set it for. And then copy the settings to all turrets and range. All right, so now anytime that you go in, what you ought to do is if you want to exclude a critter, do that and then just make sure you share it to all of them. That way you don't have to stay down here for so long. It gets dangerous. So we got turrets to take care of the leads. I'll put some ammo in them. We'll be ready to go driving around. So let's go get the interior of this thing done. Now comes the fun part. Now comes the decorating. 
What are we going to put in this boat? Well, you can put everything in it. <laughs> so we'll start here. We're going to put some X plants. So we're going to get some large crop plots and scooch it up as far as you can get it to go. You do this on stone, it actually clips, go! but this doesn't want to clip. So we're going to go as far up as we can go. Let's go right here. There we go. All right. And then we're going to go back to, and we're going to put one there. Now, the reason I'm going to go back to is we're going to put in some irrigation because you need to have water. So we're going to put in some metal water tanks. We're going to scooch it up as far as we can up there. You don't want them clipping because you want to scooch them up as far as you can. That's an official sciencey word, right? Scooch right there. And then put the clipping back on and build them up three high. All right. I said it was an expensive boat. This makes sure you have... Actually, let's, let's move this on back. This makes sure you have plenty of water to irrigate the crops that you got now now it, it rains a lot so it's not too bad but if you want to set it up like i have it set up in the trailer video you may want to have some plants inside and since they're under the greenhouse they won't get watered unless you have some water supplied plus you're going to want to put a cooker in here we'll get there all right so we get the x plants up there i took that one up because what we're going to do is we're going to put and this we're going to leave snapping on we're going to put a small crop plot and we're just going to stack them up and if you just line them up there there's a bunch of them, and I probably doubled up some of them. But now we got plenty of places to grow narco berries, or mejos, or both. And we're going to make kibble, and you can use the yellow kibble so meaty. for just about everything on the island. The only thing it won't tame is the thylas and the udis. So everything else can use the, what is it, exceptional kibble, the yellow. So you're going to want citronol growing. We're going to put in some lots here. And then we're going to put in a grinder on the outside. As in the thumbnail, this is a PVE boat. I would not put a grinder <laughs> out here naked on PVP. We're going to once again use the quality of life one because it's going to hold more stuff and because it's smaller and it'll fit right here. And be careful I don't step off the edge. Not that that shark down there can get me, but so that it works. There we go. We got that on there. Now we're going to put right here. We have small crop plots over there. Why not put some over here and we'll back them up and we'll have a place for our measures. And you can still go through here you can still go through here and you can still climb up this ladder. Perfect. That all works. Okay, now for this, the fun stuff in here. All right, we're going to put in everything we can think of. One thing we're going to have to do is this wall is going to have to go. Because we're going to have to make it out of little pieces. There may be a way to make this differently. And, you know, I've referred to Toast Bloke several times on his built if there's somebody that's going to figure it out he's going to be the one so again keep an eye on him but we're going to change this to a quarter wall we're just going to fill this piece in with quarter walls okay and the reason for that is going to be evident very soon okay so first thing i want to put in here just to make sure everything fits is i'm going to put in a fabricator and we're going to turn clipping off so they can squeeze it up into that corner as much as we can this is kind of yeah you got to play with it a little bit because let's we'll see if it works Yep, see, it likes to turn them the other way. And that's not the way we want it. We want it to go in here so that it follows this wall here. So we're going to take it back as far as we can go, slide it up, and maybe we pull back just a little bit and see if that'll work. Two hours later. There we go. That worked. All right, so we got that. We got it eked up against this wall as much as we can. Now we're going to put in a smithy. And we're going to just cheat it up and since i have collision off i can kind of bring it into it a little bit so we're going to bring it in just a little bit and pop that there now look at this watch this little trick here so see these ceiling tiles up here all right we're going to take this one let's zoom in so i can see what i'm doing let's zoom in we're going to take this one right here we're going to pick it up Boink. guess what now we have access to our industrial forge so we can load it from the top and take the metal out at the bottom and we don't have to go hauling it everywhere. 
Now, if you don't have or don't want to put on the quality of life mod, you will need to put in some quarter roofs, ceiling pieces right there, and you can put in air conditioners, just some generic ones, and you want to size it up so that it just comes to the edge there. You won't want it to go into the doorway because then you won't go get in and out. So we're going to go right there and then it'll put one right next to it. Now you'll have to take the clipping off to get the second level to go up here. And we're going to start down here because we don't want to block our door, remember? And we don't want to come all the way out, but we don't want it sticking through the back either because that just looks bad. And it looks like it's not even there. Six air conditioners. That will hatch pretty much any egg you want. Now, if you have the quality of life mod and you want to use a QOL air conditioner, they'll stack and you can just do away with this whole shenanigans here. But I wanted to show you how to do it without the mod. All right, let's see. Did we pop through the back? We did not. Look at that. It looks professional. Okay, now let's go to the other side. We're going to need power, right? So we got to get a Jenny in here. You can use, I don't do tech. People know I don't do tech. So you can use a gen tech generator if you want to. I don't use them. We're going to make sure it's clips. We put it in right like that. Boink. All right. And we can't have a generator without gas. This gets loud. When the generator is running, this boat is really noisy. So if you want to turn your ambient sounds down, this would be a good reason to do that. <laughs> this playing is loud. Okay. So we got air conditioners for hatching eggs. We got our fabricator. We got our smithy and we have our generator. Now, what do we want to have? Well, on this side, I like to put my culinary stuff. So we're going to put in refrigerators. Just use a regular refrigerator for now. We're going to put one right next to it. And then, you know, eating over here, you might want to cook some stuff. So we're going to put in a grill. And you want it to clip there. Boom. Now we got a grill. Pretty. And then in here, what we can do, since we have that greenhouse glass, we can take our medium crop plots, put three there, and we can plant some stuff inside. Now you can stack them and plant lots of stuff in here, but you know, whatever you want to do, you got to be able to get through here. And if you stack them, you're going to be bumping up against the top, especially if you got a tall character. So there we go. We got our we got our indoor greenhouse. So we got all our food prepped and ready to go. This will work. Yep. Now we may want to make kibble on the fly. But we're going to need an industrial cooker because, you know, we want to play big time. All right. You want to unsnap it. And I find if you put it about right here where the little rivets are, you can get around it. You can also go to the center, but there. The other thing we're going to need is we're going to need something to make jerky with. So we're going to make a preserving bin and put that in there. And we're going to put that on the other side of the door. So we're going to do this whole thing where we're trying to make sure we don't block the door. I'm going to pop one of those in right there. We don't need but one. It's just us. But, you know, maybe you got a clan and you want more. But this is this will do. We'll make some jerky here. And then just so we have a place for gas and fertilizer or whatever else you want to have in here, let's uh, put in some storage boxes. Again, I like the quality of life because they own our stock. We're going to put it right here. So we're going to turn it sideways so we can get more in, right? What want to do is to get it lined up. There's one. There. Snap it. That's much better. We can fit three in there because, you know, we can still get our, and it's, the collision helps. Let's, let's use it to our advantage. So now we have some storage for poop and for gas and whatever other sundries we might need to have over here. Seeds, whatever. You might want to put the seeds in the fridge though. Okay, so this will still open. Now here's what we're going to do here, just to make sure we have two respawn points and not just one, we're going to put a bunk bed here. And we're going to rotate it so that it fits right in here. That looks good. All right. And we can still access this, get in and out. So it's a bed you can walk through, you don't have any problems. And you've got two respawn points in your boat. What else do we need? Well, we're talking modded stuff. And so maybe we want cryo fridge. Of course we do. Keep our little buddies when we're not using them. So you can put the cryo fridge pretty much anywhere it'll fit. I want to be able to get to it. So I usually will put it right in here underneath the stairs so I can get around it, get up the steps. Everything's cool. We're, you know, in creative mode. Let's put, put two of them in here just, just in case. All right, so we got our cryo fridges in there. And now what else do we need? Well, we're going to need M bench, right? Don't want to forget that. And that will fit right here. Rotate it. And if you line the little test tube up in the center, you want to put your back some, but it doesn't have to be back real far there. And now we can get over here if we need to get to the furnace, but 
So that's good. And we can put a couple of small storage boxes right here. Or, you know, extra narco or gunpowder or whatever else. Don't want it sitting in your thing. You can put a couple in there if you want. But that's up to you. Now, what else do we need in here? We need one more thing. We need a cage. Because since we're farming while we're running around, we're going to want to have a dung beetle in here. And you can put that dung beetle cage right against this wall here. You, you might get into problems with if a Rex is chomping that he might get this. It's pretty fragile to start with, and you've got that opening right there. But if it gets to be a problem, put it over here. It's somewhere where it's not in the way. All right. So we have all that stuff. We still have room to move around. Look at that. One last thing. Again, since we've got the mod on here, Quality of Life also has a beehive. That's a domesticated beehive, so you don't have to worry about getting stung. Since we're going to be irrigated, we can also put a beer barrel. So we'll put our beehive right here. And... Put a beer barrel right there. And we're going to need one other thing, which is a tap. Because we want that water coming into the ship. So let's put in a tap. Since it was raining earlier, we should have water. There we go. Now that's going to be all irrigated. Yep. On this side, irrigate. That's irrigated. Okay. You may have to push your beehive back a little bit. This is what you do when you get in here and you get everything in. You just figure out what fits where. So let's put the beehive right over here. Give us room to get in. There. This little works. Since it's domesticated, I don't have to worry about getting stung while I'm in there if I hit the wrong button. Perfect. And now this works. Yep, that works. And it is full because we have all those barrels outside. And is this irrigated? It is. So we're good. We got a place to make some beer. We got a cooker. We got a grill. We got fridges. We got plenty of places to grow crops. We got a bed. We got a preserver bin. Plenty of storage. ACs for hatching. Fabricator. Smithy. Beehive. And we can trap anything in this box the size of a Rex or smaller. And then it's a little bit tricky to get a Rex in here. I'll I'll admit that. But once he's in there, he's not coming out and he can try all he wants to. And you just have to be a little bit aware that, that he can get you if you're not careful. But as long as you get the Rex in and close the door and stay back towards the back and shoot through these windows here, you're probably okay. It's just when you get into this stairwell situation or if you get too close to the window and he chomps down, he may get you. So I like to kind of sit back in this area right about here and just plank away at him and then if he gets on the other side i can go over here and do the same thing all right that's the build let's take this thing out and give it a shot see if we can't get us a rex all right we're coming up on the spot on carno island where there's usually a rex hanging out at this island over here now before you get started on your taming <laughs> make sure you turn off all your turrets including <laughs> the x plants because they'll tear stuff up that maybe you wanted to tame so that's another reason why i have this handy doorway i can just go out here and i can put this guy to sleep and i can put this guy to sleep and the same over here just for, just for safety's sake Cause it'd be a shame to get like a max level Rex and then they just kill it. We got those turned off. One last one. Okay. All of them are asleep. Now we'll go back inside. And since we're in safe water now, we're going to deactivate the turrets. All right, those down. All right. Let's see if there's a Rex over here. Uh, and there we go. He's just popped in. He's over here on the side. So that's a really good spot for him to be. Where's our prey here? Oh, there he is. There he is. Get us all turned around the right way. There he is. Let's see if we can get him to come over here. Yoo-hoo. We're going to slide up here. Just like that. And maybe we'll see him through here. Ah. There he is. Oh, there we go. Got his attention. Come on. That's right. Yell all you want. I don't care. And here we go. We're in. He's in. He can't get out. Now I'm in GCM mode, so let's let's not cheat this thing. We're gonna get out of GCM. All right, now I get. Oh yeah, he got me there. So he can get you in here. You have to be careful. But 
if you stand back where he's not biting and just start shooting he's gonna try to run but he's already down this, this is a really powerful <laughs> but he can't get out of there he tries to run and he starts getting him but he that's he's always gonna get caught by this wall here he can't get over these railings and he can't get back over this if there's no ramp inside if you put anything with an angle on it even if it's just a short angle like a triangle roof that's pointing down sloped roof or a railing that's pointing down like a ramp he can get back out but if there's nothing here he can't get out of here it's got to have something the only thing is you have to have a wall there or you can put railings along the bottom edge of it so that it's not going all the way to the floor but it's not sticking up above there and that way he can get over it and he can't get back out so what is this guy oh a 40 not a big one but you know it's a rex let's get this guy tamed up and then we'll go find some leads oh and just to show before we get out he did hit me when i was standing over in here because we don't have this piece right this is not a place to be get way back in here or over here because there's no there's no metal piece over there so that's how he got me i was stupid and stood right here where he was had access to me but you can see no damage to the hive no damage to the crafters in here air conditioners are all fine cooker is fine bed is undamaged bins undamaged all these storage crates are good everything in here is not hurt except me because <laughs> i got silly and got too close let's see anything over here hurt nope everything's good and the rex is tamed and you'll see so you can see here he's he's not getting out of here he's not going nowhere he can't get up on nothing he can't get out of these rail ends he can't get up the front end the only way that he's coming out of here unless you cry upon him or build a ramp is if you come out here while he's still awake and open these doors so that they open outwards then you're going to have a problem because then he doesn't have to step all the way up he can step on top of the doors and come straight out and he'll get away so you shouldn't have those doors open anyway if you're trying <laughs> if you're trying to knock him out but hey if you were get to your destination and you don't want to have a cryopod you don't want to add anything to the structure to uh put him a ramp to get out you can just open those doors and he can climb out that way as long as they're closed or they're open inward he can't get out all right let's go see if we can find us a leads fish now what i'm going to do i'm going to put him on passive so that he doesn't decide to jump out of the boat and we'll tell him to stop following us so he doesn't try to follow us anywhere and then let's go let's go see if we can get hit by leads one thing we got to make sure we do when we come off the island is start the guns back up we won't be killing leads that we don't have our ammunition going let's go get these guys going the x plants will help you out if the leads is up on the surface and he starts coming like he's going to hit your boat because he can still if if they're determined enough they might be able to get in there and get you for one smack but if they're sitting close to the top of the surface these x plants will work on them too and the other advantage is if you happen to forget to turn your turrets on or you run out of bullets while you're out here then these guys can help take up the slack they're not the ultimate solution but they can really maybe get you enough time to get away all right let's see if we can find one Hey, plants are killing that guy with the ceiling pants. Uh oh. Uh oh. What was that? I didn't see the thing. Did we get one? Oh! He didn't even get up out of that. Ah! Sorry for your luck, dude. 
call this thing Lucille because <laughs> it's a vampire bat. All right, there's usually one that hangs out over here. Let's see. I'll just sit in a holding pattern for a second, see what happens. Seeing you under here. Looks like one way over there, maybe. Let's go over there and see. Let's go see. It's getting dark. We're gonna make it daylight again. Make sure you can see us good. We can see him. Let me get around the island so I'm not going into the wall. Go in K mode and see if he's coming. I'm not sure that was the lead fish. Back around here. There's base. Hey guys. If you want to use, <laughs> if you want to remove the haze from underneath the water, you can use the command R dot volumetric fog space zero, and it'll take all the fog off of it underneath the water. Okay, tearing up a, there's an alpha shark dead. Shooting something. Megalodon. Oh, we got one. See, so you can do a little bit of damage, but oh, that must be an alpha. Yeah. And he's dead. Oh, no, he's not. He's still alive. The turrets are working on him, though. Yeah, the sharks got him. <laughs> Okay, so we got hit by an alpha leads. We got lots of alpha megs out there, but they're not gonna hurt the boat. So let's go down and see what the boat, what time of damage you got on the boat. Okay, so we got five wood, 23 metal, four fiber, three obsidian, eight. So a little bit of damage. You can't avoid it. If they hit the boat, they're gonna do damage to it. It's just gonna come through all of, no matter what you put on it, but that's why I say just just keep a supply on hand of the things it's going to take to repair your boat. And if you do get hit, go ahead and fix your boat up so that it's not going to take, you know, a whole bunch of damage. But again, we're looking at everything in the boat. Nothing inside the boat took any damage at all. Not even the plants. So the plants aren't even hurt. One's on the outside. They got a little bit of damage because, I mean, they're out here. And that's where he hit. So we got a little bit of damage on that crop plot and these crop plots here. But that's why I have some on the inside. The, the uh, grinder didn't take any damage. 
these guys didn't take any damage. All right, so we got it fixed. We got everything working again. What do you say we give this thing a real try? What do you think? That was Alpha Leeds. We killed one Alpha Leeds, one regular. The one who was way down in the deep, who never even got close enough to the boat to touch it. So let's do this. We are going to spawn in three leads. I don't know what the deal is with the Alpha Leeds command. It won't, won't let me spawn them for some reason. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a watch and we're gonna see what happens. So we're just going to go. I'm not even going to be in the boat. I'm just going to stay on the outside so we can watch the whole thing. All right. So that's going to be a pretty good view. What is this? Oh, it's just sharks. Okay. So we got a bunch of dead sharks everywhere. And uh, here's our boat. I'd really like it not to be raining. That would be good. There's one. Two. Three. <laughs> They're not getting close. And see what I mean about the uh, the explants are working on them too. So they're getting they're getting nailed both ways. Oh, he got a bite. And he's dead. No, he's still moving. So three lead fish at the same time, which you are not going to run into out here. And we're going to have some damage on these crop plots, probably. Yeah, or he knocked on them, but they're outside. I expect to get damaged on those. Did the grinder take any damage? Nope. Did anything inside take any damage? Let's see. Our boat, not hurt much, right? I mean, the materials to fix it are not, I mean, ones and twos and threes. Most is metal ingots. And again, no damage inside. Uh, get out of the way, Rex. Be cornered in here. Let's see. Nope, no damage. No damage, no damage. No damage. Nothing. Let's go check our chem bench up here just in case. Wine barrel still doing good. Food trough. Our, oh, we got a little bit of damage on the cage. That might have been from the Rex, though probably was and last but not least probably well grinder is probably the most expensive thing but i wouldn't expect to see any damage on this and none so it will give you a mobile base to run around on on pve i would not say this is the end all be all for a pvp boat because it's pretty obvious what you got but as long as you keep ammo in the guns you will not have to worry about getting sunk by a leads fish you run out of ammo could be problems <laughs> but other than that you're good to go all right well i appreciate you watching i hope you learned something i hope this was fun for you to <laughs> watch the carnage at the end so thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like it really does help me out on the youtuberisms out there and keeps people watching the channel and introduces the channel to new folks so leave a comment leave a like hey if you've never joined old gamers never die and you're looking for a group of people to hang out with sure subscribe to the channel and by the way come check us out at the discord the link is in the description below and hang out with the ogs we have servers for arc ascended arc survival evolved valheim conan seven days to die and atlas come on out and play with the ogs it's free i don't charge people to play on my servers i want people to go out and have fun and we got a pretty good crowd playing on ascended right now so come on out and give it a shot it's a boosted server and it's got some mods some of them the ones that you saw today everybody has a good time out there and you know if you don't want to play games you just want a place to hang out and talk to folks there's people from all over the world in the discord come by there's usually somebody to talk to thank you again so much for coming out there thank you for all the support out there it really does make my day when i see it we'll get the jackknife video out soon i'm going to try to get that done in the next couple days so you'll be able to build that and that's on official rates so it will fit within the official 
multiple structural limits and it does just as much damage to the leech fish as this boat does all right well y'all take care stay safe be good to each other and until next time this is yuli signing out <laughs>